What's up dudes? Welcome back for another video. Today we are talking about something that is kind of going under the radar in a sense coming in from Twitch and it's something that's pretty pretty shocking but at the same time has its limitations and maybe it's not fully ready yet. And I'm talking about other resolutions on Twitch and no one's really talking about it. There's actually you can do 4K streams right now. You can do 2K streams, 1440p streams, whatever you want on Twitch. I haven't pushed it beyond 4K, so don't quote me that it's it's working beyond that. I don't know if there's like 8K or something like that. In this video, I'm going to show you guys that you can actually stream 4K to your, your viewers right now. But there's an exception, so keep that in mind. Let's just jump right on in. I'm going to show you guys inside of OBS how to set things up, how to get it in 4K, and then we'll uh, I'll dive into the reasons why you maybe don't want to do this yet. Now, over here on my desktop, I got myself, uh, you know, a little instance of OBS. So I'm going to go ahead and open that bad boy up. Now, right here, I do have my cam already in place and you can see it right here. This is a 1920 by 1080 canvas. If we want to start to set this into 4K, you can do it. You just got to come over here to the settings tab. You go over to video and this is where you're going to enter in the resolution you want. Now, normally you would come over here and you do a little drop down menu and you'd be like, uh, well, I only see two. Well, just so you know, you can just click into this and type whatever you want. So if I wanted to come in here and just type in a random bunch of numbers, I can. And then, you know, maybe that's my new resolution. Six, 65,465 by 65,465. Uh, don't do that. that. Obviously, that's insane. So me already knowing what the resolution of a, a 4K uh, a video is, is 3840. And then you just hit X and then you type in 2160. And that is a 4K 16 by 9 aspect ratio for your uh, your streams. Now, over here in the output scales resolution, when you send it so so this base canvas right here, that is your essentially your your OBS application. Now, when you send it to Twitch or YouTube or wherever you're streaming to, this is where you would change what that that resolution is going to look like on that platform. So, when I do a little drop down menu, you're going to see all these different different uh, resolutions here, and that's because I've pushed this all the way up to 4K. Now I have more resolutions to uh, to choose from. So, I'm going to choose 4k, which is what I just typed in. So I'm going to leave this on uh, the 36 samples. I'm going to leave it at 60 FPS and I'm going to hit apply. Now, when I do that, you can see that my 1080p camera right here is now, you know, it's looking a little small. So uh, because I'm not actually in a 4k situation with my camera right now, I'm going to go ahead and just drag this and make it bigger, something like that. And that looks pretty good. So we have our camera. We are now in 4k and you can't see that, but I'll show you uh, just a quick second here. Um, that if I hit start streaming, so now that I hit go live, I'm gonna bring over the stream live. that we're streaming to, and you can see already right here, we are streaming right to this other account. I, I know that my audio was going over there, but you can see that we are live on this account right here called uh, activator underscore, and uh, everything's looking pretty good. Now, a way to see your actual resolution is to come over here and you select this little uh, settings icon, you come over to the quality, and you're gonna see that we are indeed in 4K. And just to uh, clarify that even more, if you come up here to the advanced settings tab, you click on this and you come down here to the video stats. And now you can see all the stats for the stream right up in the top left corner of the stream. So you can see our video resolution is 3840 by 2160, although because uh, I have the window scaled to a certain size. So uh, this is actually in 4K right now. You can see right here we are streaming from OBS to uh, Twitch and we are getting a 4K stream. They don't advertise that. Have you seen anything in the news that says, hey, you got 4K streams now? No. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the stop the stream right there. That's gonna go ahead and pause. I'm gonna hit F5. You can see we're not live anymore. It shows offline. I'm gonna drag this on over here. Then we're gonna go back to our OBS. So here's the problem with streaming at 4K. And to demonstrate this, I'm gonna go ahead and put something else on my screen and I'm just gonna do a simple display capture. Hit OK. And we're going to uh, make this bigger as well. And that's looking uh, pretty good right there. So what I want to do is I actually want to change my wallpaper to something a little bit more animated. And we're going to select something a little bit more animated. So I'm going to drag this off my screen. And this is looking pretty decent for you guys right now. But this is just what we're going to use as our, you know, maybe our gameplay or something like that. Maybe this is your Call of Duty. Maybe this is your Escape from Tarkov. Maybe it's something that you play on a regular basis. But this is going to be our example. Here's the situation that we're working with. Now, now that we have our wallpaper up as our background, let me go ahead and pause this for a second. Just put something on something a little bit more light. So when you stream to Twitch, you are selecting a certain bitrate. That bitrate is going to determine what the quality is of your streams. So if I leave this at my output of 6000 bitrate, 
that's not really enough to really merit showing off a 4K stream. So the way you got to look at this is when you are live streaming, you are taking your entire uh, canvas, my 1920 by 1080 canvas, and you're streaming it at a certain resolution to Twitch. Now, that resolution that you're putting into that output resolution going to Twitch or wherever you're streaming to is going to dictate the quality of that stream. Uh, now, granted, there's other things to go along uh, involved with that as well, such as encoder and frame rate and all that kind of stuff. But uh, just just for to keep things simple here, when you have a higher resolution video and you are streaming it at a low bit rate, you're going to start to see a bunch of pixelation that you maybe don't want to see. However, if you take that exact same bit rate and you go down to a really small resolution, that resolution is going to look pretty good. Now, you're putting more bit rate into a smaller resolution, which is why it looks good. And then when you're putting that same bit rate towards a giant resolution, such as 4K, you are not giving it enough to make it look good. So here's a quick example that I'll show you what, what 4K streaming looks like at 6,000 bit rate. Okay, so this video that you're looking at right now is uh, being captured 4K, it's being broadcasted at 6,000 uh, 6, bit rate, uh, going to Twitch at... 60 FPS and you know, it looks pretty decent. It, it doesn't look that bad. I don't see any issues. It looks pretty clean. Although once you introduce actual a lot of motion, you're going to start to see some problems. So let's jump on over to that wallpaper image you saw a second ago. And now let me show you what that's going to look like when that's up on screen. So now you can see what this is actually starting to look like now that we are recording at 4k and you can see exactly what it's going to look like when it gets to Twitch. It's looking a lot more blocky. It's looking a lot more ugly. And maybe this isn't something that you want to be pushing out to Twitch. Now, let's let's take it back real quick. Now, again, we are back at uh, just my camera by itself, streaming at the 6,000 bit rate, again, 4K. But let me actually, let me cut this feed and let me drop down to 1080p and show you a little bit of a difference here. So now this is what 1920 by 1080p looks like when you're streaming at that same 6,000 bit rate. But now we're going to take it back and I'm going to show you guys exactly what that wallpaper looks like that I showed you seconds ago. Again, again, keep in mind, this is 1920 by 1080 at 6,000 bit rate. So you can see now it looks a lot more cleaner and a lot like you can, you can kind of deal with this. It looks a little bit better than it did at the 4K resolution. Now it is applying more bit rate to a smaller resolution, which is why it looks a little cleaner than it did with the 4K image. So that, that was 1920 by 1080 at 6,000 bit rate. And this recording right now, I think I'm at like 11,000 bit rate and I'm streaming off of my GPU, the RTX uh, 2060, which is fine. I think it works for recording and it doesn't look too bad. So keep that in mind that that's what you're looking at right now. So why don't you just up, upgrade the bit rate? Why don't you just give it more bit rate so it looks better? You know, if you stream at 6,000 bit rate and it looks like that at 1920 by 1080, why not quadruple that to get that 4K image looking just as good? And that is where it comes down to Twitch's limitation of only allowing you to really push your bitrate to around 8,000. Now, 8,000 is nowhere near good enough for uh, a 4K stream. So keep in mind that when you are uh, trying to push that bitrate, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be good, but it's not going to be good enough. And then you're still going to have a bunch of blockies all over the place, especially when you're streaming at 4K. Now, it might look a little bit better at 1440p, uh, but just keep in mind that when you increase your bitrate, you can only cap it at around 8,000. Now, Twitch says keep it at around 6,000, 6,500. But, you know, for someone like me, I bump it up to 8,000 because I found that point in which Twitch finally, like, kind of shuts you down a little bit. Now, yesterday I was doing some streaming and I tested a bunch of different bit rates. I tested 20,000, 16,000, 12, 11, 10, 9, 9.5. I tested all these different kinds of bit rates just to really determine what, was, what exactly was going on here. And it, it turns out that you can kind of... You can kind of get close to maybe 8,500 bit rate, but even around there, even playing between 8,000 and 8,500, sometimes Twitch, what they used to do, what they used to do back in the day is if you push the limit too far, they would auto down res you down to 720p at 30 FPS and lower your bit rate to make it seem like you're streaming at 3,500 bit rate. Now that's a default bit rate from back in the day, but that doesn't really apply here today. But now it is, they, they don't do that. They now take your stream and they just cut it. So it, it, the problem is if I am watching that stream and I'm streaming at 12,000 bit rate and I'm doing a 4K stream, if I'm streaming for over five minutes or so and I hit refresh on the page, it ends up showing an error. So when instead of Twitch just down resing me automatically, now you get this that pops up and it says the video downloaded was canceled. Please try again. That's Twitch not allowing you to be down res. They're just simply cutting you off. So if I were to refresh, it doesn't matter how many times I refresh this page, it's still going to be an error and it's not actually going to be a stream and it's not actually going to be working. 
So that's what happens. So now instead of being auto down res, now you have this screen that pops up that literally just cuts your feed and you might not be the wiser unless your chat kind of spams at you. So just keep in mind that even if you try to push it to 4K, you will need more bitrate, but you have a max bitrate, so you can't really stream a good looking quality 4K video. However, if you are a cam uh, streamer just using a cam, now you saw moments ago that we were streaming 4K and it looked pretty decent. It wasn't that bad. Now that's because there's not a lot of motion on screen because this is such an easy thing to encode. I'm not doing too much with my camera here. Uh, that's why it looks so good at 4K. Now, again, if, if there's motion involved and I start waving my arms all over the place, it's going to look a little bad for that 4K stream just because it's trying to encode all those frames and everything. And it's kind of uh, taxing on the on the PC as well as it's not enough bitrate to give it what it needs to look good. So I just want to let you guys know that 4K is around. There's 1440p, 2K, 3K, whatever you got. You can throw it at Twitch, man, and it'll accept it. But just keep in mind that it's there, but it, they haven't upped that cap of the bitrate. So that's what's kind of the limitation. So just keep in mind that if you are going to be a broadcaster and you want to broadcast something really simple that's on screen, not a lot of high motion, you can actually bump that resolution up and get a nice quality looking image. Now, granted, you only want to stream 4K if you actually have a 4K monitor and content that you can put over there. I mean, there's no point to just upscale to 4K. If you have a 1080p image, you might as well stream at 1080p to 1080p. Don't go 1080p to 4K. It's not going to look that good. So that's it. That's I just want to let you guys know 4K is around. Uh, 2K is around. Uh, pretty cool. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to go test that yourself. You can up it to 4K and you can go see for yourself that the numbers are there, but uh, maybe try it out and see if it works for your streams. Maybe not. It's your call. I'm surprised no one's talking about this. No one's brought it up. I, no one, no one's talking about the 4Ks available on Twitch. So, hey, as I, I won't say up that, that bit rate, consider, uh, consider seeing me in 4K real soon. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. I literally saw the other day that there's like 93% of the viewers of this channel aren't subscribed. So, consider subscribing. <laughs> and if not, you know, don't worry about it, dude. You're your own boss. Like the video. Uh, comment down below if you have any questions, and I'll try to help you out. More videos coming up. Uh, in a couple days. So I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Stay beautiful. You are beautiful. Bye.